right, you guys. This is the snowfall aftermath video for the negative snowfall that we got on this side of town. And the reason why I say negative snowfall, oh, it's December 31st. Happy New Year's Eve, everybody. The reason I say negative snowfall, and we're gonna take the back streets, I guess, because there's gonna be a lot of traffic up here, is because yesterday morning when I got up to record, we had actually a little bit of rain coming down. And since we didn't get any accumulation in my area, I think Fawn Skin and over by the dam, as I always say, like when we get snow, they'll get even more snow. I think they may have received a little bit, but I don't think more than really an inch or two over there. But my house, which is in a really good snowy area of Big Bear, we didn't get any accumulation from, from, from this last snowstorm. That they said we could get 56 inches of snow above 7,500 feet. And I know I'm only at 6,800 and change, but still, um, we didn't get any accumulation. And it's not like the last storm before that where the four feet of snow that we could have received didn't happen. We got a bunch of rain, so at least something to help the lake. And I'm grateful for that. But uh, yeah, this last storm, we had zero accumulation here. I'd be willing to bet that the ski resorts, even though one of them's only like 400 yards away as the crow flies, maybe 500 yards. I bet they probably got a couple inches of snow because when the clouds and the storms hit, hit those mountains, they lift and condense. And then the colder air up top just rings them out right there. But yeah, if, if we didn't have the desert right on the other side of this mountain range, and I mean the real desert, you guys, it, 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 it wouldn't be quite like that all the time here. But when I lived in Denver, Colorado, it was a very similar situations. When we'd get big snowfall in Denver, it's because we had northeasterly winds. And it, and so storms were like blowing from the east, like, like wraparound kind of, coming from the east, hitting the Rockies, rising, condensing, and dumping right in the front range. Like, like Denver area with with our northeasterly winds, we would get well over a foot of snow with not that much precipitation. But most of the storms that would come in, they hit the Rocky Mountains, these huge storms, and then they dump everything they have. And then by the time they reach the plains area, they're breaking up a bunch because of all that dry air from the plains. It's a very, sim it's a very similar situation to here. If Big Bear was on the other side of this mountain range, like where Crestline is and whatnot, the snow totals every year would probably be 150 inches more. I think we average like 70 inches a year. But if we were on the other side of this mountain range, we would get so much more hammered. Even at the same elevation, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have to be any higher up. So I do want to eventually get to the main roads though, so you guys can see what's going on on the main roads. I just wanted to avoid the first couple traffic signals. And this is also so, yeah, just, just so you guys can see how the roads look like all throughout town. We are going to do a whole valley tour. I think it's important because I know a lot of you come up different directions. I heard 3.30 and uh, up to the 18 isn't that bad. And that was yesterday. A few of you let me know that you drove up yesterday there were a few slushy spots, but it wasn't bad at all. It wasn't that bad. So, um, yeah, I think you guys would be safe. Obviously, always have your tire chains with you because a lot of the side streets are still a bit worked. And because there's so many trees, a lot of times the sun doesn't get through as much. Like you can tell, like right there and stuff like that. So a lot of these side streets are still somewhat tough to maneuver. Therefore... You know, even if tire chains are not required, if you call 1-800-CALTRANS to, to find out, and it's a quick phone call, you guys. If they aren't required, you still might wanna have them up here, as I said, because you're probably gonna be going onto one of the side streets. Because that's probably where you're gonna be staying. Not right on Big Bear Boulevard, so. I know we don't like waiting for the lights, so we're gonna hang on. All right, 
And then we get to make it right here. Now we're on Big Bear Boulevard. You guys can see the traffic. It is Friday. As I said, Friday, December 31st. Last day of the year. I got a little bit of sleep last night, finally, but not as much as I wanted. I think I maybe got on and off about four or five hours. So in a hundred hours worth of time, that's not bad for me when it comes to storms. I do feel a bit rejuvenated, still tired. Um, so maybe I got a little more sleep than I thought because I'm still a bit groggy, but I don't know. I don't know. And this is gonna be the last video basically, I think, until the next storm. For those of you who've been watching for a while, that's that's how that's how we do it. Um, I mean that's basically the only content on here. Now if we stay at a hotel or an Airbnb, which we probably won't, I'll record there for sure. I like staying in the nicest rooms that these spots have to offer when I do stay there. Just so you guys can see the nice amenities up here and um, you know, a lot of it does need updating but it, it gives it that charm, that, that old rustic charm and yeah. Kind of like our Lake Arrowhead house when, when I was a kid we had, my mom had a house in Lake Arrowhead. And when we would visit, I hated it because we, we didn't have, well, not hated the house, but just hated the fact that we didn't have like cable up there. If we wanted to watch TV, we had to bring uh, VHS movies and stuff like that because we didn't have any, any cable. Yeah, it was a beautiful place though. It was like a four story house there was like one room on each floor basically so it wasn't a huge house but it was just it, just, it seemed big because there were four floors and by the way we're in big bear city now we have been since we made that right turn at the stoplight so we're gonna do the whole valley for the aftermath just so you, once again you guys can see how little it snows in some parts of town and how much it does in others even though we didn't get really any snow from this last snow snowstorm Sugarloaf real quick. 
We're not going to go into Sugarloaf deep at all, just up to Baldwin, which is just basically the top of the hill up here, and then back down the other side. But just so you guys can see what's up this road, there's a big neighborhood up here. The high school is up here. You have a restaurant up here. It really feels like a, like a very local spot up here, very local. get into Sugarloaf, if you drive straight and just keep keep on going till the very end, it keeps on climbing in elevation on every single street here, and then you end up like uh, like literally in bear territory, which is super, super cool. A lot of times they'll, they'll have bear sightings up here, I, I mean often, but the closer you get to the, to the top up here, you just can stay straight on any one of these streets here and just keep on going straight and then it'll dead end right into the forest on each one of these streets so we're turning left here on Baldwin Lane we are in Sugarloaf for just a moment we got a park here with a skate park I don't know if you guys know, but this is where, uh, why am I spacing his name? Sean White used to ski and snowboard. This is where he learned. I think he grew up in like the San Diego area. And so he was always up here in Big Bear snowboarding. And it's, it's where he learned how to do what he does. So that's pretty cool. We have that claim to fame. And I think Burton started basically up here as well I could be wrong about that I could be wrong but I, I think it got popular up here because it is California and surfing they didn't have as much of a problem with snowboarding as they do in, or as they did in most other states like Colorado I think there are still a couple resorts in in maybe Utah and Colorado that still don't allow snowboarders I could be wrong I think Alta was one of them uh, but I can't recall. And we're at, we're at Highway 38, you guys, just so you guys can see. We're at Highway 38, and it's 37 degrees. Hang on, I gotta... Here we go. Then we're gonna go down and take a little look at that little... Uh... There's a beautiful area off to the side here. Off of Zaka. check that out on the way through Baldwin Lake. Look at how little snow is out here and it's just going to get less and less as we get in, into Baldwin Lake. Second. I'm really interested to see the other side of Baldwin right now to see what we what we got going here. Okay, so we're still on Zacker Road. Now we're on East Big Bear Boulevard. This this isn't like the main Big Bear Boulevard that you're thinking, even though it technically is. No one's ever on this Big Bear Boulevard. <coughs> but look at how beautiful this area is. Equestrian area, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it over here so much. an impression to me. Oh no, those are some of the donkeys. I think. It looks like there's some some of the donkeys out there. It's so beautiful out here, you guys. This is just a little hidden gem over here, right off of Highway 38. 
But what we're coming up to right now is where Big Bear Boulevard turns into Shea Road, and we're gonna take Shea Road into Baldwin Lake. And once again, you guys are gonna be amazed how little snow there is at the other side of Baldwin Lake. Even the other side of just this area, look out there, there's no snow on those hills at all. It's just amazing. I mean, it really is, it's just amazing to me. skies as usual over here. I mean seriously what a fantastic area. What a fantastic area. There are a lot of people in town as you guys saw from the beginning and you'll see when we're coming back into town the other direction. Hopefully it's not that bad of traffic coming in but I have a feeling it's going to be because we're driving the route that tends to be pretty gnarly with traffic um, when we get to the other side of town that is so there's Big Bear Boulevard right there and Highway 38 that's where they meet and if you just stay straight right there you'll be on Big Bear Boulevard and right here is Shea Road S-H-A-Y so yeah if you stay on Big Bear Boulevard and, and go till Big Bear Boulevard ends it turns into Shea Road and then you'll be heading into Baldwin Lake I'm interested to see with all the rain we got, how much rain they got over here because we might have a little bit of a lake if we're lucky over here. That would be so neat. So that area we just drew, drove through is on the other side of these stalls and stuff like that. God, it's so beautiful. What a gorgeous day. they got a bunch of snow out here I mean you'll notice I'll bet we'll get to parts up here that that there isn't any snow as we're driving it, it's not gonna be that much of an area but I'm sure we'll get to an area like that this is a good place to go sledding also you guys up here on the right hand side there used, to, uh, there used to not be a fence right here, but there is a better spot right up here on the right-hand side. <clears throat> Just be careful because if you get enough speed, you will slide into the street, and we don't want that. We don't want your kids to get hurt. But we're coming up to Baldwin here, and I'll show you the little sledding spot on the right-hand side. And then you can just pull over and park right there also. Let's see, oh, there's a nice view of Baldwin. But yeah, give me a second here so I can remember where this spot is. It's coming up pretty quickly, I believe. I think that's it. Well, no, that's not it, but there, but that's the spot. And then you could probably pull up right there and do a little sledding there, but there's, here we go. Oh, there's people sledding here, look at that. Look at that, that's the spot. And it's so quiet out here, it's free. Free is good, right? Free is good. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look like we have much of a lake over here, but I'm telling you guys, when we get big storms, that turns into a lake, that whole area, and it's so unbelievably gorgeous. And by the way, Wayne, reverse mortgage guy, dude, thank you again, man. You're, you're a good dude. It's been good chatting with you earlier today. Super cool, dude. All of you have been just amazing. And I'm just super thankful for all of you. But yeah, Wayne, thanks again, man. Wayne sent a $3 donation in earlier today. I, I just, I, dude, I'm just extraordinarily grateful that all of you are so loving, especially the comments, though. I mean, seriously, those are life-changing. We're going to let this guy pass because I'm getting irritated. This is where they filmed the Super Bowl commercial right here. And all the big trucks parked right over here for the whole Hollywood thing. They all parked right there and this commercial was filmed right here. 
And as I told you guys, that year I did a reenactment of the commercial. I can't remember if it was like 2017 or 2016. Yeah, look at Baldwin. Man, I gotta roll that photo. That is so beautiful. As I said, we have a huge snowfall out here, which isn't that often. That whole area will turn into a lake for, for a good few weeks. And it's just, it, it's mesmerizing. I mean, that whole area turns into a beautiful lake. And then this property out here, you know, like for a property for a short period of time, they could probably charge triple for their rent for like a month. But yeah, you see where the clouds are? Right? That's where I live. There's really no snow over here on this side at least it's a little bit tiny bit on the left here but isn't this incredible guys it's the same elevation as where i live and it's only about five five miles away from where i live the whole valley i think from here to the dam is like eight eight miles long. all the way that way but it's it's unbelievable how little snow you get out here and you can see the roads are not bad at all. Just remember guys, during the daytime, by the way, it's 38 out right now. During the daytime, the snow will melt and then a lot of it will run into the street just like that. And what doesn't evaporate, that's gonna freeze at nighttime. And so you will get ice. So you just gotta remember that. Always, always keep that in mind. big area right there that's going to be a, a nice little tiny lake for a little bit you can't tell once there's water that it's not that deep at all it just looks like a giant lake but i think they got enough ice and, and rain out here to once that melts off in a couple days here it'll look like a lake but seriously look at how little snow is out here that's just incredible Every time, you guys, that's every single time, every storm. And I'm not saying that just, just to say it. I have it on video. Like, uh, especially the first few years here. I don't come out here for every video anymore like I used to. I mean, I used to come out here for like every video just to see what the snow difference was when we were having snowstorms. Yeah, look at this. There's nothing over here. A few little patches here and there. And so we're coming up to Highway 18, okay, you guys? And this is the back side. So when, when we hit Highway 18 here, this is as if you came up from Lucerne Valley. Look at that. That's all gonna be a little lake. That's amazing. Wait. So when we get to Highway 18, it's going to be as if you're driving up from like Apple Valley, Lucerne Valley, Victorville, that side of the mountain range. And it should be such a simple drive right now. There is the triple switchback, which every 180 you make on it is very steep. So that can be tough if there's any ice on it at all, but that's like halfway down. So I don't even think they'll have anything right now, but I could be wrong. lake for a little bit that's just so cool Right here, it says right to the Valley. So if we go 
go this way, we'll just go up a little bit more, and then as soon as you make that turn, we'll start heading down. Left to Big Bear. Going left. I hope you all have a wonderful new year. Stay safe out there. Watch out for all the drinking and driving. I want you guys to be safe. I want you guys to get hurt.
avoid traffic before we go into font scan. I'm gonna go back to the house for a moment. But I'm gonna pause it like right where we would be going straight to go to Fonskin because I can see on my map that there is some serious traffic coming in right now on that side. So just I'll give it another 30 minutes or so, and then I'll head back out to do the rest of the drive. videos are more of like just so you guys can really see what it looks like up here for the driving conditions for the most part on all the main parts all the main roads up here and when we get big snow so we can see a lot of the snow and there's this, one of the ski resorts right there I think that's Bear Mountain gosh I love it it's so pretty up here said it's the side streets that I'm, I'm sure you guys are probably staying somewhere on one of the side streets and a lot of those are still pretty bad that's why it's uh, it's important to, to have have your tire chains with you just in case you get stuck or in case you get nervous and once you're stuck I think it's a little hard to put your chains on but I don't know because I've never I've never put them on before All right, so this is Stanfield Cutoff. We are going straight through. And we're going through Fawn. We're gonna go through Fawn Skin and come back around. That's where a lot of a lot of the traffic was on the other side of the lake coming in. But it looks like it's not quite as bad now, so gonna take that take that tour and see beautiful views over there looks like once we get a better angle you can see the ski resorts and the clouds just hanging right over them ah it's so beautiful man seriously 
how fortunate am I to live here? spots in fawn skin that don't get a bunch of direct sunlight so we'll see how it is over there trespassing signs and stuff because uh, they take that very seriously as, as they should anywhere but yeah just just don't trespass obviously you guys aren't going to trespass but um, keep your eye out for those signs though because sometimes they're not as just just publicly stated as as you would like and you might be somewhere where you're not supposed to be so just be very careful neighborhoods especially trespassing signs right here that'd be a good place to go sledding but once again this lake view is just amazing when we actually do get a whole ton of snow it's just even more incredible especially when the when the lake is iced over it's never really thick enough you guys to go out and stand on there's signs everywhere that'll tell you please do not go on the lake ice because it's it, it it doesn't get that cold here to where it, it can hold you so you just 
please, please, please do not ruin your vacation by taking a dip like that. such incredible views my gosh most of them have the lake and the ski resort views from across the lake it's just beautiful Cafe, great little restaurant. Just passed it on the right. I've eaten there for breakfast. One of my best friends, Jordan, when we used to come up here and visit, took me there one time. It's just from the tires on, on the car ahead, we're getting a bunch of dirt on the windshield. But we're, not, we're not getting any precipitation. It might look that way. basically that first storm. like 
I know all that heavy rain we got definitely, definitely helped. Other side of the valley, guys, doesn't look like a completely different town over here. So much snow over here, hardly anything over there. since it snowed a couple days ago I don't have to worry about ice on the road see if the road looks clear please do not think like that just assume they're always icy especially when, when the temperature gets down to 32 or below the other side of the valley where, where you see the blue skies. This way, the less and less snow we'll get. You'll see. It's, it's pretty cool.
driving into town from this main road here, we've got most people, most people choose to come up 330 to 18, which is this one. I mean, it looks absolutely gorgeous. living here there was no water right here it was completely empty it was really sad but thank goodness we got more water in it and as I've mentioned before you guys we have what's called the lake replenishment act I believe that they're uh, raising they're trying to raise like 55 million dollars or something like that and I think we have already eight to ten million towards it they're basically at our water treatment plant up here they're gonna treat all the local water everything from our sinks and our toilets and everything and put it back into the lake to keep the lake full always. Once you get into the Boulder Bay neighborhood, you want to make a left here.
gone. Anywho. Dude, thank you, man. Thank, thank, thank you, thank you. Say, say hi to everyone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right on, dude. Dude, that was cool, man. Yes, dude. Wow, that was so cool. <laughs> dude, that is so awesome, man. I can't believe that just happened. That is so cool. sledding and do a little roller coaster called the gold rush or, the, or no the mine shaft I keep on calling it the gold rush it's the mine shaft Look, I'm gonna keep it but it's worth it because when, when you guys are sledding and whatnot you don't have to worry about the kids sliding into the middle of the road because look there's no street or nothing they just slide into the bottom of the hill and then they get a ride back up to the top so you don't got to use much energy to hike back up the mountain it's a worthwhile situation. And over here it gets jammed up pretty often. But we're not too far from freedom when it comes to the road. somebody doing that, I give you permission to punch them. 
no joke. That's just ridiculous, man. Like, let's keep one area of Southern California really nice. up here, that's when it's going to open up into two lanes, and traffic will be very light at this time. At like 9 in the morning though, group. it's rough.
guys do have to be a little bit aggressive up here when you're driving if you do want to get into certain, certain lanes and certain streets, unfortunately, because there's so many impatient people up here. And it's, it's not just tourists, it's, it's us too. Because we're used to not having that many people up here, and so we just zoom around quickly to get wherever we want. And you guys are used to the traffic, and so it's just, it's just always irritating. That's why I try to show you guys some of the, the back routes and stuff like that. right there. Oh yeah. There's a humongous Santa Claus right there. That was my favorite place to stay up here, the Robin Hood Resort. I love it there. When we would visit, when, when my friends and I were going to come up to visit after my mom didn't have her house in Lake Orlehead, we would stay here. I think it was just a luck of the draw thing. I didn't realize that most of these places up here have um, jacuzzis slash bathtubs. And it was just nice to be up in the snow and have a jacuzzi in your room. And this was the first place that I, I really looked. And it was a good location and it just seemed friendly because it's called the Robin Hood Resort. And they have a restaurant called Nottingham's Tavern here as well. I've eaten there. I had a to-go meal one time. It was really good. It was really good. So look, now we open up into two lanes and we are going to be pretty darn good until we get back to the village. We should be fine. Zero traffic. I mean, in terms of the speed that we have to drive, not much traffic. Cafe, you guys. Unbelievable food right there. That's like unbelievable food right there. Some of the best in town. Especially if you're into grapes. Oh my gosh. It's so fresh and so yummy. The wine is always so long because it's so good. Get up 
here to Summit Boulevard, I'll shut it down because it's, it's just gonna, this is basically where we started from up here. So you're still gonna have a little bit of traffic over here, but it's not gonna be that bad. It's not gonna be that bad, but most of the people going to the resorts are already there, already parked. And it is Friday, so there are just a bunch of people coming up here just to come up here. And a bunch of you on the channel left me messages saying that you are coming up. So I hope you're here. Welcome to Big Bear. I hope you guys are having fun. Once again, we'll stop at this road guy real quick. You know what? We'll, we'll, we'll keep it going for a minute. Actually, it's not that bad right here. It's just a little jammed up right there. But it's definitely packed with the resorts. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're almost sold out of tickets if not sold out. right now. It says Bear Mountain tickets are sold out on this sign up here to the right. That's unfortunate. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys can see with your own eyes that it's not too bad. It is wet. As I said, it will freeze at night, so be careful. But other than that, I love you guys, man. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace out.